Requirement 11.5.1.1 is another one of these requirements that apply only to service providers. And it also has a, uh, it's a net new requirement, so it has a sunrise of uh, March the 31st, 2025. Um, and uh, so specifically what is needed here is that our um, intrusion detection, intrusion prevention capabilities need to be able to uh, identify any covert malware communication channels, the, the command and control channels, for instance, that are used by, uh, you know, by, um, uh, by various botnets and whatnot. Um, so uh, the, um, the exact mechanisms that are, that are used by different malware channels, of course, those are going to change over time. So it's also important that those uh, individuals who are tasked with uh, making sure that this compliance, uh, that this requirement is being met, uh, that they are also staying abreast of the uh, of the latest changes in malware. That is also part of the testing on this particular requirement. So so do do make sure that that you have you know the uh, the ongoing education and uh, and improvement of the of those who are responsible for this control. Um, the exact mechanisms are going to change, you know, based on uh, different different uh, scenarios, right? Uh, in some cases, a data loss prevention tool might be used uh, that, that is capable of identifying that large quantities of data have left a sensitive uh, network area, for instance, coming out of the database server where the credit card data is at and suddenly a bunch of a zip file went to some place that it wasn't supposed to. So a data loss prevention tool could, could be part of the solution. Um, uh, DNS uh, query monitoring um, uh, tools might also be part of this as well. Um, and, you know, keep in mind that many, uh, many of these um, uh, command and control or, you know, mal co covert malware communication channels uh, might also create their own encrypted tunnels as part of this as well. So establishing a new uh, encrypted tunnel between between two endpoints going to some place that is not known or not trusted uh, might also be indicative of this. And then over that encrypted communication channel, the the uh, the malware itself might make its own DNS queries to establish connections to, uh, you know, to the um, uh, to the command and control uh, 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 point. Um, and then finally, you know, there also might be some sort of real-time endpoint scanning that could be used here as well. Uh, but um, uh, regardless of the mechanism, you know, uh, and, and the, the implementation details, uh, it is necessary that for service providers that we have the capability to detect, alert on, and address any covert malware communication channels that might pop up.